Wow, what a time you are having. I need to take it right back. What happened when you first got a call, phone call, email, whatever it was, WhatsApp? How did you cope with it? I mean, I got a call saying that Tom wanted to meet me and I had a FaceTime with Tom. Um, so that was sort of surreal, but lovely. And then I think it was just a few hours afterwards, I got I got a call from, from my agent saying they'd like to offer you the role. And I was really pregnant at the time and just, I had to take a few deep breaths so I didn't you know have the baby there and then it was super uh, shocking and I you know because I'd only done like a, a little taped audition I hadn't met anyone because everyone was in the US I was in the UK so it was really surprising that that happened that way um amazing amazing and subsequently your baby is now called Loki <laughs> <laughs> did you kind of panic and go right i've got to watch all of the mcu i've got to see exactly what tom hiddleston has been doing as loki for 10 years how do you start like, were you already up to scratch with it all i'd seen a few films but yeah i watched i watched tom's movies and tried to get a sort of gist of what he's been doing for the past 10 years because it was important for me to know the comics are a whole nother thing and there wasn't there wasn't time so i did what i could and then you know i wanted to to create sylvie from scratch i, I didn't want to do an impression of tom or something so would you say that you're a self-confessed kind of marvel geek now i don't know half as much as some of the fans like people out there know so much and tom himself knows so much you have to dedicate years to that kind of thing did you have to sit down with tom for a long time and talk about loki talk about because obviously well i say this she's a variant of loki did you have to kind of get into it by talking to him a lot or did you have to do your own research um i sort of did my own research but i did want to ask him a few questions and tom loves talking about loki as well but a lot everyone wanted to ask him questions all the time so he set up the you know Loki lecture which has now become like this infamous thing and I was there so um you know everyone gathered around and he did like a lecture about the character and about the films and sort of how it's changed and developed over the last 10 years and what's worked and what hasn't worked as well and what he hopes to get out of this series and you know what's important about this series and, and, and the themes that we're exploring and it was it was just super helpful and riveting and just a really great way to start the the job actually and um, everyone was really excited after that to you know get stuck in and, and make the show someone make tom a university lecturer because he'd be very good at that i'm assuming <laughs> <laughs> yeah he'd be great if you could do a degree in loki <laughs> he'd be the professor <laughs> don't even joke that's going to be a thing out there it definitely will be i'm sure yeah absolutely and he is the god <laughs> of mischief did you did you get yourself into that kind of mischievous thing or, or do you want to be a god of something else? I think Sylvie definitely has the mischief that, that, Lo that Loki has and I really enjoyed playing with that. It's in the script and also just in what I tried to create with her. Um, she's she's fighting a lot and she's a brawler and she but I quite enjoy that she enjoys fighting like she, the the sort of chaotic energy that Loki has translates to Sylvie as well and I think she gets that when she's in a fight and when she's beating someone up because she knows she's gonna win and she sort of enjoys that the chase almost of that um so that's where I found that and it, it was really fun to play yeah, and when you first had to get hands on with Tom, were you nervous? Were you like, who oh, it's him? Or did you just think, right, I got it stuck in? Oh, I just got stuck in. <laughs> yeah, he's very oh. sweet. I mean, it, yeah, it was, it was, um, it was very fun. We've also got stunt doubles, so a lot of that is done with the stunt team and rehearsed and rehearsed and rehearsed. So you're not just sort of thrown in the deep end, unfortunately. <laughs> it's sort of to spoil the <laughs> facade, but it's like, you know, there's a lot of rehearsing and like little pieces all put together. So, yeah. I feel like the whole world loves Tom Hiddleston. There's gotta be some dirt on him. You've gotta give me something that just makes him not as perfect as he is. I'm trying to think of something, but honestly, I mean, he's got a lot of energy and he like to warm up sometimes before a scene, he'll sprint like he runs around the studio. He'll run outside and just do laps of the studio or go for like a two mile run. Um, and at first he'd be like, come on, Soph, come with me. And I'd be like trying to keep up just like, 
I'm actually, I, I'm just gonna have another donut. <laughs> I think that's my process. And someone will be like, five minutes, <laughs> I'll be there. But it works, you know, because he gets all of this energy and then it comes out in the scene. And that's why Loki, one of the reasons I'm sure that Loki's so chaotic and he's got all this frenetic energy and he's so engaging on screen is because Tom has just been running around the studio and he brings it all into the scene and he gives it all to the to the camera. And I mean, it works, you know, I just can't keep up until I'm fit. But there'd be a lot of like, Tom's running again. I'm trying to get on the walkie-talkies. So Sylvie actually taught herself to enchant people. In lockdown, did you teach yourself anything? Was there anything that you kind of self-taught? I sort of carried on doing, um, uh, like working out with my with my stunt double and we did like some boxing drills and things. So I started getting really into that. And if you could pop your, any other character from the MCU in some scenes with you, who would you love to be with? Hmm, good question. I've always had a soft spot for the Hulk. <laughs> um, and Mark Ruffalo's great. So maybe that, that would be fun. Yes, well, hopefully a new series coming our way soon. <laughs> YouTube, be fantastic. <laughs>